what to do. I really, really don't. I don't know if I can get in front of this camera. I'm so afraid. I don't know what to do. What should I do? Oh my gosh. <sighs> Hello. <laughs> Hello, beautiful people. Happy New Year and welcome to my brand new YouTube channel. I am so excited to finally create this thing. I'm excited to post consistent content. I'll be posting every single Thursday and I'll possibly add Fridays if it starts going really well or if I just feel like adding a new video one week, if you know what I mean. <laughs> but once again, Happy New Year. I am thrilled. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you already like what you see, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like, make sure you comment. I love feedback. I dig feedback. And this is my very first time doing all of this. So please help a girl out, help a friend out, help a fellow YouTuber out, okay? Now, before I get started with my real video, which is, the steps you can take, the five steps to living a happier life. I wanna tell you a little bit about myself since this is my very first video. Now, if you don't have time to hear about me, skip it and watch the more important part of the video, okay? I encourage you to watch that part because to me, that's the most important part. I'm hoping to inspire at least one person to live a happier life. If I can inspire just one of you guys, honestly, I've already done my job. But here's a little bit about me. My name is Shannon Hemmings, but most people call me Shan or Shan Shan or Shannon Ann, Nanan Nan 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 or Shannon Bananan. My family calls me Shanny, so if you feel like we're kin already, go for it. I don't mind. Someone calls me Little Bill, and I'm still not sure how I feel about that. I really do like that nickname, but only when that person calls me it. I'm just kidding, seriously. But I love nicknames. When someone says Shannon, I feel like I'm in trouble because most people call me by one of my many nicknames. So feel free to call me a nickname or make up a new one. I, I, don't, I don't care, okay? I just want us to form some kind of really cool bond throughout this. So a little bit about me. I'm an actress. Oh my gosh, so cliche, I know. But I am. I do voiceover acting. I actually paid my bills with it. One month, I paid all of my bills with just voiceover acting, sitting in front of a mic and telling stories, guys. How cool is that? I'm pursuing TV and film acting, a lot harder to break into, but totally possible. And there's a bunch of steps you can take to get to an awesome place that I wanna share with you as well. I like clothes, especially when they make a statement. I'm very, very healthy. I'm very much into fitness. I'm actually a pescatarian, which is under the umbrella of being a vegetarian. So a lot of health and fitness tips, a lot of workout videos that are gonna be on this page too. And then I might daily vlog. Once again, I have to test the waters and see if that's a good idea, but I've vlogged days up until this moment of finally creating my first YouTube channel. So I might post those when the time is right, you'll have to see. They're pretty raw. I cry because last year was a little rough. There was a lot of challenges last year. <laughs> and I learned a lot about myself, like how much character building I need to do, honestly, guys. And so I wanna share a lot of that with you too. Last but not least, I'm a very positive person. I am not a perfect person, not at all, <laughs> not at all but I am very positive, I'm very motivated, I'm very passionate, and so I wanna take all those aspects of my personality and hopefully help you out in any way that I can because I love seeing people learn to be confident and go out and follow their dreams and take life by the horns and say, I'm gonna enjoy you and I'm gonna do what I want with you because I'm me and this is my life, okay? So with all that being said, I'm going to jump into today's video. So excited. Now it's a brand new year. Once again, happy new year. And I must admit that I'm very thrilled for more interesting conversations because the way people usually talk, what do people usually say when they meet you? They go, hello, how's it going? Who are you? What's your name? Oh, Shan Shan. 
okay. What do you do, Jean Jean? You're an actress. Oh my. So what have you been in? And then my palms start to sweat. Does it really matter? Can you just ask me why I love it or, you know, like, come on. So I'm really excited to stunt those conversations a little bit and to me talk about much more interesting things. What are your goals? What are your resolutions? What do you wanna change? What are you gonna fight for this brand new year and this brand new chapter to me? Ooh, those conversations get me lit. They get me excited. I love hearing about other people's goals. Other people's goals light me up. They, they light a fire under me and inspire me. And you know the typical resolutions, right? Can you guess any of them? I wanna lose weight. Mm -hmm. I wanna go to the gym more. I wanna get strong. I wanna get a bigger booty. You know you was thinking it. Don't lie. You know you was th thinking it. But my favorite is, I just want to be happy. That's something I said to myself so many times last year. And guys, last year could have been incredibly happy. So many wonderful things happened last year. But it was not the happiest year of my life because of this. My mindset completely and totally flawed. And I wanna change that this year, okay? And there are a few steps I have taken throughout my life to make me a much happier person that I wanna share with you. So are you ready for it? Got your notes, got your notepad? If you can just learn one thing. To me, that's what I do, because I have a short attention span. Um, if I can learn one thing from a lesson or a Bible study, I'm good. I did not waste my time, I'm, I'm solid. So if you learn one thing from today, if you get one thing from it, awesome. And if you do, please, once again, comment about it. I'd love to know. So step number one, choose to be happy. Sounds simple, right? You wake up and you think, oh, it's Monday or, well, here I go again, going to the job. This day's gonna suck. How many of you guys are guilty of saying things like that? I'm guilty of that, super guilty. How can you expect to have a good day when you woke up and gave up already? You didn't even give your day a chance to make you happy. If you wake up and choose to be happy, wake up and say, whoa, I'm alive, I'm still breathing. You know what? I'm gonna make the most out of today. I'm gonna be happy. If you make that choice, I guarantee you, your chances of being happy will have increased by a ton. And I know it's not that easy. You want some help? Listen to a happy song. Open up a positive, happy book. Get yourself going. I love sad songs. I literally listen to them on repeat. I do not know what's wrong with me. Those sad songs don't make me happy at all. And that's all I did last year was listen to sad songs. <laughs> so listen to a happy song. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. Mm, that song gets to me. And it has me waking up ready to conquer the day. Okay? Now step number two. Live in the present. It sounds so simple, guys. But this might be my very biggest flaw. I'm either worried about the past. Oh man, why did I do that? Why was I so stupid? Oh, I wish I could have done better. That really sucked. Why did I let that person get to me? Why did I let them into my life? Then you're worried about the future. Oh, I can't wait until I'm there. I can't wait until I'm rich. I can't wait until I book that huge role. I can't wait for this and I can't wait for that. And all that's good and gravy. Looking at the future is awesome because it can motivate you in the present. But if you live there, if you live in the present, not live in the present, if you live in the future or you live in the past, all you're going to do is worry. You're going to worry. You're going to be anxious. You're not going to be happy. If you decide to live in the present, you wake up, you decide to live in the now. What can I do now to be happy? Oh, let me look around. Oh, wow, look at those flowers. Look at the rain. It's pretty cool. 
Try to live in the present, okay? Practice it. I know, I know it's hard. Trust me, I fight with it all the time. But that's the only way to true happiness, to learn to love your life right now, right where you are on this awesome journey, okay? Number three, do something you enjoy every single day, every single day. I don't care if you worked a double shift, get off your double shift and eat that piece of pie that makes you so, so happy. If you love church, if church makes you happy, go to church, find a Bible study, okay? If working out makes you happy, go to the gym. If writing makes you happy, write. If traveling makes you happy, travel. You can't afford to travel out of the country right now, travel to a local cafe that you've never seen before. Trust me, there are plenty. If journaling makes you happy, journal. Journal in that newfound cafe and live in the present in that newfound cafe. Look around. Look at the paintings. Look at the brick wall. Look at the cool people. Oh, look at the baby. Oh. Do something you enjoy every day because when you do what you love, it makes you happy. I love movies. I love watching movies. I didn't watch nearly enough movies last year. My unhappy year. <laughs> you know? So please take the time, five minutes, 30 minutes, to do something you genuinely enjoy. Read a book every single, every single day. You deserve that. You deserve happiness, okay? Number four, stop comparing yourself to others, please. If you need to make a social media break, if you need to take a social media break, take it. I just got off of one. That's a big mistake a lot of us make, myself included. <sighs> I'm just as talented. Why, why, didn't I, why didn't I get the job? Why can I travel? Why, why am I not married? What's wrong with me? No. First of all, you have no idea what those people are going through. Most people just post all of the positive stuff on social media. I'm trying to be more raw and real on my social media, okay? So stop comparing yourself to others. There's only one you, oh my gosh. If you can accept that, if you can look in the mirror and say, there's only one you. You're the best you out there. You have this awesome journey ahead of you. You're following your dreams. Stop comparing yourself to other people. It's not gonna help you at all. It's not gonna help you be happy. Learn to love yourself. Learn to stop comparing, okay? Stop it. <laughs> Write a list of things you love about yourself. Read it every day. Put it on your mirror. I don't care. Just stop comparing yourself to others. Last but not least, number five. Don't be too hard on yourself. Another huge flaw of mine. Guys, there were some seriously, insanely amazing things I accomplished last year. And I ruined those moments. Ruined them because I was too hard on myself. We're all so hard on ourselves. Why, why am I not there yet? I could have done that so much better. I could have traveled so much more. Why am, I, why am I here? Why am I struggling? Stop being so hard on yourself. You're, you're doing great. You might not feel like it, but you're, you are. If you're, especially if you're following your dreams. If you're not, please do. That's a whole nother one. Number six, follow your dreams, seriously. But if you're actively following your dreams, actively trying to be a better person, you're already light years, in my mind, to where you need to be. So don't be too hard on yourself. Don't beat yourself up. When you make a mistake, brush it off. Laugh it off. <laughs> don't laugh like that. I mean, unless you want to. Don't, don't be too hard on yourself, okay? And those are just my five steps to being a happier person. Now, I hope I inspired at least one of you, okay? <laughs> and if I did, please, once again, subscribe, comment, like, yada, yada, yada. But understand this. I'm going to end it with this. Happiness is not a destination. It is a way of life, okay?
and you deserve happiness. You do. You deserve happiness just as much as everybody else. And the only person with the power to make you happy is looking at you in the mirror. So choose it. Choose happiness. Live in the present. Don't be too hard on yourself. Do things that make you so flippin' happy. Stop comparing yourself to others. And have a very happy 2018. You can follow me on social media at ShanHem1 on Instagram and Twitter and Shannon Hemmings on Facebook.